Okay, we're in Microsoft Excel and we're exploring different ways of writing formulas. I've got three versions of the same formula here. And the formula, what it's doing is, is filtering this data according to the criteria selected here. And then it finds the average of the top three sales returned by that filter. Now, the first formula is a standard formula. The second uses the let function. Now, you might use let either because you've got repeated elements within your formula, or here, we just think it's a better layout for the formula, easier to read. And then in the third example, we've used Lambda to simplify the formula even further. You can see it here. So I'm gonna show you these three different ways of creating the same formula. So this data is in a table called table sales. So let's start off with the standard formula. We we'll use filter first of all. The array is the sales column within this data. And include is where we express our criteria. We've got two criteria. So each criteria needs to go in brackets. Let's say the first criteria relates to product. So does the product equal the value selected in F2? Close the bracket. And because it's and criteria, both criteria need to be mapped. We multiply and we're gonna say, is the region equal to the region selected in E2. So if I close the bracket there for that final criteria and then for filter, it returns those sales values. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is sort that data. So I'm gonna sort with the array being returned by filter, sort index, well there's only one column so we can just skip that argument and our sort order is descending, so minus one. Now I only want the top three values, so we can use take for that. So array is returned by sort and filter. The rows, number of rows we want is three. And then I can find the average of those values. So if I change these, criteria, I get a new answer. So we'll produce the same formula, but we use let. Now, just to save me having to write out this filter formula again, I'm just gonna copy it. Okay, so equals let, open bracket, and then I'm using alt enter to just come down on a new line. You don't have to do that, but I think it makes the formula easier to read. So the first argument is name one. So we're gonna give a name to our filter I'll call it filtered. And then name value one, that's where I paste in my filter formula, comma. And then I'll come down on a new line. And then if you remember, we sorted the data. So I'll create a name for that, sorted. And I need to sort filtered. The sort index, well, there's only one column. So I don't need to specify that, but I want to sort in descending order. So that's minus one, comma. Then I'll come down on a new line again, or to enter. And then I want to use take to return the top three values. So I'll call this top three, and that will be take sorted. And it's the three rows that I want to return. So I've now created all the names I need for my calculation. So I can come down here, and all I need to do is use the average function to find the average of top three. Then I'd probably come down on another line and close the bracket for let, press enter, and I get the same answer. So you may decide that that's an easier formula to read than the original. So how would Lambda improve the let version of the formula? Well, I'm gonna copy this let formula and use Lambda. So what I need to do is give a name for each of my criteria. So we'll say the first one is region and the second one is product. And then my calculation would be the let formula. And we don't need the equal sign and I'll bring that down on a new line, alt enter. So in this let formula where we were referring to F2 and E2, we now need to refer to the names that we've created here. So the 
criteria for product would be, does the product in the sales table equal product? And we need to do the same thing here for the region. Does the region in the sales table equal region? Now I need to close the bracket for Lambda. So it returns the calc error, and that's because we wouldn't use the formula in this context. So I'll show you how we would use it. We want to copy the whole of this formula, then go to the formulas tab on our ribbon, go to name manager, go to new, and give a name to our Lambda formula. So we'll call this average top three. And then in this refers to box, we paste in our formula, click on OK, and then close. So now we just type in the name we gave to our formula. And region is obviously in E2, and product is in F2. Close the bracket, press Enter, and it gives us the same answer. And it will respond to the changes we make in these drop-down lists.